Good day and welcome to a new video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hey uh, and welcome to a new weekly tips where I put some cents in your tip jar. Welcome today. Today's topic we're going to be discussing the bear scale. Um, as we delve deep into the bear scale, I'm going to be drawing a bear scale and talking a little bit um about how to draw it and things like that about drawing scales in general and that kind of topic so hopefully you enjoy so start off with drawing the front view um now it's up to you where you start off with i thought this was an easy way to start off because i use the symmetry tool that way i only have to draw half the scale and because it's um flat on the left side looks exactly like the right side it should with the skeleton um, yeah unless it's a deformed skeleton or something like that um, but yes and this gives me an insight into what the bear scale looks like um, it's kind of can be easy to draw you just use shapes and a bit of um, knowledge in, in drawing to try and guide yourself into drawing this bear scale um, and here it can you can show it shows you the size of kind of its um, eye sockets um, and its nose sockets compared to its mouth and things like that and you can see like different proportions um, and understand those and see what the teeth are like as well um, yeah it just gives you a, a really insight um, to help you and then I go on to doing a side view. Um, it, it depends how I feel, but sometimes I kind of start with a kind of three-quarter view, and then I do these three angles. Um, but sometimes I go with the most easiest drawing of it, and that can be the side view sometimes, um, just because it's, it's kind of very flat on the side. Um, front view can be very, very easy as well because like I said it's very symmetrical you only have to draw half of it and, and things like that um, so you only have to kind of understand how to draw half of it and then copy it on the other side where it's like this you have to kind of understand where everything goes um, you can actually see here that the nose socket is uh, a little bit further it's not kind of um, compared to another kind of scale like a cat scale their noses are closer to their teeth than kind of this bear scale it's going to wider nuzzle um, and that is expressed in like animations and things that they've got like this wide nuzzle um, and yeah in the real creature in the bear you can see this long nuzzle um, which is really awesome to see and you really see it in the skeleton that's why I find it um, it helps to understand the bare bones of a bear <laughs> um, but the bare bones of any animal um, during its skeleton during the other features really helps to capture um, an animal whenever and you can manipulate it once you learn um, all this stuff of how to draw under the under the skin you can kind of just draw the bare bones of the the animal um, in different poses and then you can um, put the layers on top and really um, you know put it in different poses and make it really awesome um, yeah it, you know it can make help you in, in animation as well um, or just in posing characters and, and animals to make them seem realistic um, also here you can see in side view like the different kind of teeth that have um, the comparison to them you know how big they are in comparison like the front chompers the big giant ones at the front and then the tiny little ones there and the little and the bigger ones going to the front because it's kind of like humans um it's similar to what a horse has too they have like big teeth at the front and then they have the this um inner teeth part if that makes any sense um but yeah you know and it's got this like wide kind of skeleton look as well um, so you know I drew a cat skeleton before this and you can compare it the two different skeletons together um, to see the differences and there are similarities as well compared to different breeds and different animals um, there is 
um, some similarities, which you can see like eye socket. Um, they're bigger in bears, obviously, and cats are smaller. Um, but there is a little bit of um, you know the same kind of a thing, um, which is cool to see once you understand the kind of bare bones of it all. Um, it does it does really help to point out differences. It's like playing a game of you know spot the differences. Um, it does help, and once you start spotting the differences, you start to realize, oh, I'm drawing this animal, you know, what what features does this animal have? Oh, it's got big eyes, or bigger eyes than a cat, so it's got to have bigger eyes. Um, yeah, and, you know, drawing the bare bones, drawing this um, skeleton, I draw it in three angles. I feel these are kind of the most important angles, you know, front um top view and side view back view can be helpful as well but how often do you draw the back of the head you know <laughs> but yeah it is and it's good to understand that as well uh, but those are the three kind of good um ways to understand it and that way you can draw it any angle and also your yeah, back view is very helpful to learn if you can keep um keep going and drawing things like that um so hopefully you did enjoy this video it was me drawing a bear skull and just kind of discussing um yeah if you have kind of seen a bear skeleton up close or drawn it um before let me know down in the comments i'd really appreciate it if you enjoyed this video comment down below as well um thanks for checking out this video and yeah keep drawing and we'll see you in the next one goodbye